This would be equivalent to a, a you know, heavy urban pollution in, a, in an urban environment. Health hazards on the Big Island as Hale Mauma Crater at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park continues to spew out plumes of smoke and ash. Health officials say 10 times the normal amount of sulfur dioxide is in the air. KHNL News 8's Leela Kim just returned from the Big Island and joins us with the live local late breaking details on tonight's top story. Staff, so far no evacuation orders have been issued, but if things get worse, people near Kilauea Volcano could be forced to leave. Madam Pele's smoky dance lures a crowd to Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. It's just amazing. Kiala Ahuna was just two years old when she saw a volcano eruption with her family. Now more than 25 years later, she's back to share this moment with her sons. Having it happen then and now and the kids get to see something that rarely happens here, it's it's something. Although Hale Mauumau Crater is a spectacular sight, these plumes of ash are causing a statewide health hazard. It's an irritant gas, so it's affecting their uh, eyes, ears, nose, skin, respiratory system. Normally, the crater vents sulfur dioxide at the rate of about 200 tons per day, but recently, it's jumped to more than 2,000 tons. So we're up at approximately 10 times the emission rate of sulfur dioxide. The Park Service issues a warning. A helicopter surveys the area, and health experts say long-term exposures could lead to some chronic respiratory issues for people on the Big Island. We're just hoping this now it does not get worse than what we're seeing now. And if it does get worse, what would be the county's response? Uh, the worst case scenario is we have to relocate people, evacuate people, we will do that. And the impact isn't limited to just the Big Island. Now on heavy fog days, uh, it affects Oahu now. So whatever happens here could have far-reaching impact across the state. Federal and state officials will continue to monitor the situation 24 hours a day and notify people if conditions get worse. Resources are available if an evacuation is necessary. Reporting live, Leland Kim, KHNL News 8. So can residents look to the winds to help clear out the pollution? Chief Meteorologist Sherry Shima is at the Weather Center with the details. Well, Steph, unfortunately, it looks like the weather situation is not expected to change. And what's been happening throughout the day today, we've been seeing winds coming in out of the north-northeast. And what that does is take that ash plume and basically push it down to the south West, affecting areas like Ka'u and Pahala. This is also, we've had reports of light ash falling on vehicles in these areas, and that's why scientists are warning those with respiratory problems to drink lots of water, stay indoors, and limit activities. In fact, by the weekend, we could see stronger winds. I'll have your complete forecast coming up later in the newscast.